everyone so it's time for another favorites video and this is flawless friday okay so i don't have that many makeup things because i didn't buy that much makeup throughout the month or even something that i've been using a lot and the things that i do use a lot i already mentioned in my last favorites so they kind of stuck with me so but the first thing i do want to talk about though is it, oh my <laughs> the first thing i want to talk about though is this hemp um bronzing moisturizer and basically you use it and it's like a gradual tan so like day one I don't, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that but maybe i can focus it a little bit but you see like my light's in the way but day one you would look like that day two you would look like that and then like day seven or something um i really like this just because I, some of the south tanners that i used before were too orange too fast it wasn't like um you know like a brown or even a bronzy it was not bronze it was just so orange and i couldn't use it because it was just like you would just look around like the skin tone that i have i have like a reddish undertone so like uh, and that's everywhere and um i don't tan i burn so like i have to use self tanners if i want to look a little tan i'm not like a ghost so the ones that are orangey do not, I can't, I, I can't use them. They don't look good on me, I, just n not good. But this, with the gradual tan, so good. So my next favorite is this face cleanser, and it's by Olay Fresh Effects. I don't know if you can see that. It's like Olay Fresh Effects. Um, this makes my skin feel so good. I can't. It just makes it feel clean, you know what I mean? The last face wash that I used was the St. Ives Exfoliator, and some people use it every day, but some people use it like three to four times a week. Um, but I have this uh, moisturizer that I use with it, and it's like the um, Clean and Clear. The It has salicylic acid and stuff in it. Um, it's like a blemish control moisturizer. And with that, it did not... It did not feel any type of what it's supposed to feel like but with this the moisturizer just goes on and it makes your skin feel clean and cooling and it's just so good but with my other moist or my other face wash no and this the only thing I don't like about this is the set is supposed to exfoliate but when you put it on you can see the beads a little bit but you don't feel them at all so it doesn't really exfoliate for me, but I guess for some people it does. I don't know. But anyway, this just makes me feel so clean and I love it. Okay, you guys, so when I shave, like I shave my face, like I don't get so much facial hair because I shave like every other day. And the shaving cream that I used before was, oh man, I can't think of the name. But it was for sensitive skin and it was a guy, um, like, shave shaving cream i guess guy shaving cream um it was for men um and it said for sensitive skin and it said it had aloe in it and all this good stuff and whatever vitamin e but i used it and it still gave me razor bumps and i know you're saying wait razor bumps isn't that from a razor yes but if you use a right shaving cream with like any type of razor it'll help it out but with this it said it for sensitive skin and it was not at all so I had to get this. This is Skin to Mint. Skin to Mint Skin Therapy. Um, and this says it has a vitamin E in it. But this is for dry skin. Not just sensitive skin. For dry skin. So it'll moisturize your skin while you're shaving. And you're like going at it and stuff. Um, so this is so good. Of course this is a women's one. But you know. Who cares. It's gel. But then it turns into like a cream. You know. So this is so moisturizing. And so worth it. And... I would just recommend it to anyone. <laughs> Guy, girl, whatever. <laughs> Aces. My eyes are doing such weird stuff because when I put in an inner corner highlight, like in my inner corner, <laughs> um, it just cracks and creases and and just not good stuff. And and then my on, under eyes, typically on in person, your under eyes are more dry than you know your the rest of your face. Whether you're dry skin, oily skin, no matter what you are, your under eyes are always more um, dry than the rest of your face. So, I've been using this Lift and Firm. This is be Beyond Belief Skin Vitality Replenish Lift and Firm. Um, 
I'm too young to get like crow's feet and like fine lines and, and wrinkles and stuff like that. But this for your eyes to hydrate, so good. I got this to Sally's. And I think it was on sale when I got it. Because I got this a long time ago. I think it was like... Buy one, get one 50%. And they're usually like $9. So that's why I got like a full size of... I forget the full size thing that I got. But then I got this and it's so moisturizing. I use it overnight and just let it sit overnight. And when you get out of the shower in the morning, you're just like, yes. Like I feel moisturized. <laughs> I definitely recommend this. So I lied, I have actually one makeup item and that is my air freaking spun. I love this stuff. It's so super duper heavy, which some people don't like but I don't have a problem with. I love this powder. Of course you guys know I did a whole video on this, a whole review on this because Patrick Starr actually um, recommended it to everybody so I did a whole review to see if it was actually worth it and it is so worth it it just keeps I, I feel like it keeps your makeup on longer than anything else in the world like it's just it sets your makeup and then this one is translucent extra coverage so I don't know if they have different kinds I never saw a different kind but this is what Patrick used so I just like yes it kind of fills in all the little pores and I have pores all over my nose and all over my cheeks and it just fills them in and under my eyes I use this and then I use the Ben Nye so you know my under eye concealer is going nowhere um so when I use this under my eyes it just feel I have like one fine line under and it just fills it in and sets that concealer so well and then I use some here my nose cheeks under eyes chin and just wherever else I just need a little bit of setting at um and then I use something to knock back the color because with this even though it says it's translucent and it won't show up it does make you a little white but it does not flash it back at all and I freaking love it so every month I recommend one makeup artist and one youtuber just because I'm obsessed with makeup obviously if you didn't know and YouTube obviously I love you too. So my makeup artist of the month has to be Rennie Vasquez. I've been so uh, obsessed with him and his makeup is just on Brandy. Oh my, I can't. Brandy, I forget the other, I always forget this girl's name. She has like blonde hair. It's like really short. Her makeup is always flawless. So Rennie Vasquez is definitely yeah. So, for my YouTuber of the month, it's so hard to pick, but I don't know if I picked this person before or these people. Um, but if I did, uh, sorry. Um, but I am obsessed with Trisha Paytas and Shane Dawson. I like them both separate, but when they do, like, their candy hauls, they're, like, they just did a vegan, like, try, like, stuff, like, snacks and stuff. Um, but when they do a video together, it's just like, yas, I'm aboard the freaking train right now. I love their videos. I like Shane just because Shane is like the OG of YouTube because he's been here for like, what, eight years, nine years. Um, but Trish is just so, I've been watching her since she had like 200,000 subscribers. So now she has like a million and something, like almost two million probably now. But I've been obsessed with her for so long. She's like one of the first YouTubers that I kind of watched. Like, watched every single day. Like, whenever she uploaded a video, I'm always under 301. I'm just obsessed with her videos. And, again, their candy hauls are just amazing and classic. I love them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave me a comment down below um what makeup tutorials that you would like to see because I'm getting all my makeup in right now um so I want to know like what you guys want to see you know what um type of looks you want to see do you want to see smoky do you want to see natural what, what like what are the type of looks that you guys want to see um because I'll be glad to do it and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching mm -hmm.